Hello, welcome to Dundrolls Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So I was going to do a movie review, which I'll, I'll do a short one for it, which that movie was was uh, uh, 2005 Clay Made It, uh, Clay Made It uh, movie called uh, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, which, which is produced by DreamWorks. It's like a movie that that's like based off this uh, show, right? This, uh, th- this, like, British show about this wacky event- and British in- inventor who has a thing for cheese, who lives with his dog, and it's kind of, it's a lot like, if you're watching Spectre Gadget, where Gadget's like a bumbling buffoon, and then it's like his niece and his dog, her dog, that like, you know, uh, does everything right. This is my first ultimate in the game, by the way. That and Mega Dramon. Alright. Who you get from trading, uh, new, catching a new Maimon and trained for it at the Digimon Center. Which, thank God for that, because I wouldn't have... It took me 40 hours to level up, to, le- to get some... To get a Digimon, to get to the level of, like, you know... Level 21, so I can digivolve into Ultimate. Because this game has level caps, so you constantly have to uh, take level up Digimon to Champion, and then when they level cap, uh, fuse them together to make a new rookie that you have to level up again and again, so you so you can finally get to raise the level cap, so you can finally get like a. A stronger Digimon, like a ultimate or whatever, which, which my Mile Talismon, which is the ultimate form of De- Demi Devilmon, is already level capped. But yeah, back to the movie review. So like the the main, uh, so Peter Salas does Wallace and Gromit. Even Gromit doesn't talk. So what was the point of getting a voice actor for him? You have Ralph Fiennes as Victor Quartermain, Helena Bowman as Lady uh, Campania, and Ben Whit- Whitehead as Mr. Leeching. That was pretty much all the famous people in the film. Which the movie's like about. Um, the movie's like about. Um, Walt- Wallace and Gromit are. are basic. have a company where they're basically pest control. Where they're catching rabbits f- for the the people of their town because this this town has this competition every year where they grow the biggest vegetables and have like uh, a festival, right? And like you know, the, they have to catch all the rabbits so they don't eat the everybody's prized bezet- prized vegetables. Which even Gromit, the dog, ha- has a melon that he was raising, right? So what happens in the movie, which oh they also they set up this romance between Wallace and this uh, uh, the the lady Campania who is a bleeding heart, uh, loves animals, doesn't like them being hurt, and that's why she lo- prefers Wallace over the Lord in the film played by. Uh, Ralph Fiennes, or Rafe Fiennes, as he prefers to be called, who has a pet dog named Phil, who's like a bulldog, right? Who's like a hunter who prefers to hunt and kill the rabbits, right? Right, so like what happens is that Wallace, the movie parodies a lot of horror movies, where Wallace makes this device where to basically brainwash people, like in, like in that comic book I reviewed, uh, what was it called, oh, it was like, a, <sighs> Squadron Supreme, right, yeah, like Squadron Supreme, and, like, uh, he, he uses it on himself to cure himself of his cheese, like, addiction, because he, you know, he, he's getting fat, and he uses it on, on a rabbit, so they went, go, go after vegetables, which makes them think, okay, what, what are you going to feed rabbits now, <laughs> right? So, like, what happens is that there's, like, a rabbit 
that's huge that's going around break into people's like homes and stuff, uh, greenhouses and stealing, uh, stealing like the prize vegetables that people are growing for this competition. What ends up happening is that it turns out that there's a plot twist where it turns out it wasn't one of the rabbits that, like, it wasn't his machine that turned people. Ah, shit. I'm kind of screwed. Because <laughs> I'm about to fight the boss and I have no healing items. Because I had, like, a Digimon who could heal. Angemon, who looks really dumb in this game. Because they just ported the... Ah, uh, fuck. They just ported the... The model from the previous game. That's why some of the Digimon looks really dumb. And some of them looks great. Like, Malatalismon... Sorry. Neo Talismon looks great. But, like, a lot of the other humanoid Digimon looks really crappy. Right? So, yeah. Uh, what ends up happening is uh, he thought it was, like... His machine turned one of the rabbits into, like, you know, a were-rabbit. Which, uh, in the movie, they say they have, like, a were-rabbit is, like, a, uh, is like a, a mythical monster. Like, the priest has, like, a, a profile in it in one of his books. And he, and he tells the one hunter character, do you have to kill it? How you kill a were-rabbit is with a, with a golden bullet. Which he gives him like three in the movie. Right? So like it turns out. The plot twist that it was Gromit. Gromit was the were-rabbit. And his machine. Turn, is slowly turning him into a rabbit. While it's slowly turning the rabbit that he turned into. That he used it on into him. <laughs> right? So yeah. It, the movie parodies a lot of movies. A lot of horror films like King Kong there's a King Kong sequence in this film there's like a, a sequence where like um there's a, a sequence where like um while like you know the were rabbits being hunted by the hunter right played by Ralph Fiennes uh Wallace sorry Gromit and the Phil the dog Phil are having like a dog fight, but in like m like p planes and like planes around the festival, and like Phil has like the the Red Baron plane, <laughs> like you know it's like those old World War One prop fighter planes, right? Right. Uh, that was pretty cool. There's a lot of cool things in the film, but I I don't know. I didn't really like the film. It, I don't know if it was dry British humor, which it wasn't. There's, like, sexual... The, the movie is weird because it comes off like a family film made for adults. Because there's shit in this film there, that it's pro probably not appropriate for, like, you know, kids. Like, kids would probably not get it, but still, man, I would... I would... I, I, I don't know. It's, like... I, I don't know if I would recommend this for, for like, people to watch with their kids, right? And that, so, like, yeah, I would only give the film, like, a 6 out of 10, but maybe I wasn't in the right mood for it, whatever. So, really, I, I wanted to talk about was some DC news, right? And the, the recent controversy with Zack Snyder, who is trying to appropriate the Snyderverse name and saying that that shit sh that the only Snyderverse movies are his original IPs like Army of the Dead and like Sucker Punch not films like the DC films it's like motherfucker you uh, la last time I checked you didn't come up with the term Snyderverse Snyderverse was invented by fans of yours Fans of your DC movies, right, who were, who were kind of pissed off that, you know, that you weren't working with Warner, you weren't making DC movies anymore, and that they were, it came off like Warner Brothers and Walter Amata and everybody were, were going to retcon everything you did, right, 
because the stupid hack critics and the Marvel shills would trash on your on your movies, man. So it's like fucking fucking bullshit, man. The, like this guy is like shit. First he goes on like. Grace Randolph's, like, YouTube channel, which Grace Randolph has shit, from what I've been, I never watch her videos, because, like, I, I really don't like her, like, you know, I don't really take her opinions that seriously, because, like, Sebastian Stan, she once said, she didn't like it, yo, Akira, you made it this far, I cornered the Blood Knights officer first, I'm going, I'm not going to let you claim my prize, I'll bet, that I'm going to get him before he you. He's mine. I have to fight two bosses. Fuck off. Cause my my one of my Digimon is really hurt. Fucking a. Ugh. I should use the cannon. Gonna have to waste one of them. Let's. Let's see if I can, like, evil charm one of his more powerful Digimon. <laughs> At least he has, like, a, a virus type. Because, like, I don't even think... He, he had, like, maybe one, like, last time. I don't know. Never mind. So, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I'm just pissed off. Because, like, you know, Grace Randolph has shit on his films. And he goes on Grace Randolph's, like, like... Ch channel, it's like, what the fuck, dude? It's like you're validating everything she says or whatever when you do that. I don't know, man. And then there's the fact where he's like, he's praising the new Robert Pattinson Batman film, which I don't know. To me, if this movie does well, there's a chance they might say fuck it and incorporate Robert Pattinson and make him the new Batman over Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, is, yes, is Robert Pattinson probably a better actor than Ben Affleck? That doesn't mean he's better for the role. You could be a better actor than another actor, but doesn't mean you're better for the role. Ben Affleck, you put him in like the Bat co Batman costume, which is Batman costume, is the most comic accurate. He looks like... He looks like... He looks intimidating. He looks like he, he could kick your ass. Robert Pattinson like, looks like... Like a kid cosplaying. And his, his fucking mask looks so shitty. It looks like it's fucking plastic. Like, what the fuck, dude? So dumb. So dumb. It's like... It's like, Zach, I get it. You don't want to go back to Warner Brothers. But that, don't fucking... Don't sabotage the Snyderverse. We want the Snyderverse to continue. Not necessarily you come back. But, like, you know, we want, like, you know, the, the actors and maybe the storylines. We want to see, like, you know, like... We want to see, like, the Justice League versus Darkseid. I like the whole nightmare, like, scenes, man. I know peop some people hate that shit. I thought they were cool. Right? Where you have, like, this mi mixed match of the justice... Of, uh, the heroes and villains who form a new Justice League. Because everybody is either dead or, like, turned evil. <laughs> that was fucking badass, man. Man, Malice House looks awesome. Oh, my Gabumon did evolve into a Centaurimon. You have to, like, get his DP to, like, 6 before you can get a fucking Rumon. By the way, I'm, like, 40 hours in this game. So, I don't know. I'm pissed off. But, uh, yeah. So, he's basically he's saying, how could I lose to you? I went easy, that's why. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. 
You should heal me before you fuck off, asshole. Now I can't fight. Now I'm gonna have a hard time being the dude. Uh. Well, I could use this, but I should save it. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm disappointed in Zack Snyder. Uh, Army of the Dead, I fought sucked. I mean, I hated it. I, I, I think it's a decent movie, but it's like, fuck, man. There was like a lot of shit in there that was that was pr pretty bad. Do what, what happens to the team? I'm that guard team. We're prepared to be destroyed. Huh? You make me laugh. You really think you could beat me, Kamara Damien of the Dawn of the Blood Knights? I'll make you an example of those stupid tamers of the city. I am invincible. Whatever. We'll beat him fast. So, yeah, uh, other DC news is um, jo Jared Leto Joker is going to be in the Flash movie, right? Which I'm super excited for that. Super excited. Though, I'm not a fan of Jared Leto's, and not Jared Leto, um, fuck, what's the guy's name? Ezra Miller, I'm not a fan of Ezra Mer uh, Miller, but it's the thing where we have him, uh, and I, for now we're, we're stuck with him. My problem with the Flash movie is that it seems like the fact that they're doing, they're basically doing Flashpoint, to me makes me think they're planning to, to retcon the DC Universe. Which, honestly, I hate a lot of these post Zack Snyder DC movies. I couldn't even finish Shazam. I, like, they, you got Zachary Lev, Zach Levy or whatever the fucking play, like, Captain Marvel. What the fuck? That's so fucking dumb. And, like, they, they, they're not even going to... I don't know, man. This this bullshit, this bu bullshit sucks. And what is even going? Who are the villains going to be in this fucking Flash mo point movie? Anyway, are they going to have? Because you can see him building up a team in the trailer to fight who? An evil Flash? We need we need, like come on man. Because in the in the comic book it was. Basically, um, somebody changed the timeline, and Barry's trying to fix it, right? And, and like, the timeline's so fucked up. You have Thomas Wayne as Batman, Martha Wayne as the Joker, fucking Superman is a slave to the U.S. government being kept in a prison underground, away from sunlight, you you have the Atlanteans and the Amazons at war, and humanity's caught in the middle, right, or they, they took over Europe, right, Green Lantern is not a Green Lantern, he's just a fighter pilot for the military, right, so it was like, they... Like, Flashpoint is probably one of the coolest Flash Flash comp books I've ever read. And it's like, they're going to use that one for the... They're going to do, like, a basically, uh, like, a fucking watered-down version of that for Flash's first movie. Are you fucking d retarded? <laughs> that is so dumb. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man, but I'm still hyped for the movie. But it's the thing where, like, Michael Keaton as Batman, he's 70 fucking years old. What the fuck is he going to do, man? Jesus Christ. I, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Also, uh, I also have some jo uh, back, 
Batgirl news. It's been confirmed that that Brandon Fraser is going to play Firefly in the Batgirl movie, and J.K. Simmons is going to be in it. A lot of people kind of don't like the fact they got this Dominican actress to play, like, um, to play uh, Bat Barbara. But you know, it it's modern day movies. They're doing that shit all the time, man. And at least she the actress apparently is gonna dye her hair red, so. So I don't know. It is what it is, man. This was the last one I I did. <laughs> Would I have gotten somebody else if I had if I didn't do this this domain last? Cause there was like three of them, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, um, I'm going to have a little surprise on Saturday or Sunday. Right? I'm not going to say what, because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it. But we're going to do a special haul video, hopefully, if I find a thing. Because on the website, it says they have it, but I'm not 100% sure if they're going to have it in store. Right? So, yeah, we're going to do a special haul video, right? And we're going to try to review all the movies I said I would try, I would review. Like Ginger Snaps, for Rob Zombie's 31, and uh, and El Super Beastu. Because I have, like, I'm, I'm going to have, like, a very busy weekend, right? But we're going to try our best. All that.